KTC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, relatively dreary forecast for another 24 hours or so after that. The sun returns Friday. Nice and chilly as we go into the weekend, but we exit the weekend on a mild note, and that's how it stays through Christmas. First off, let's set the table, see what's going on, and we have this big trough of low pressure in the nation's midsection, upper level low that's kind of centered over by Dallas, and until that clears the area, we're going to see gray skies, and that feature is also still enhancing some rain rainfall across eastern Texas up through Arkansas. Our first batch of rain already into Alabama, Florida and out in the Gulf of Mexico and in its wake we have fog that has developed across the area. We have a dense fog advisory. We'll get to that in just a bit and then more showers on the way as we head into the mid morning hours tomorrow. But as those showers move on through the wind's going to pick up for sure and the wind will probably pick up before those showers arrive. So I think the fog issue is limited to overnight tonight and we'll show you that in just a bit. Here's the radar during the course of the last 12 hours. The showers that we saw it got anywhere between a quarter and a half inch of rain. Pretty much uh, what the models were saying. Maybe a little bit less than what the European was uh, indicating and relatively quiet on the radar. But that doesn't mean there's not misty drizzles out there. We can't detect the, those fine, fine particles of mist or 100% humidity. That's essentially what it is. So here's the dense fog advisories. It's been expanded through eastern Louisiana, also up through Mississippi as well. Well, visibilities have gone down. They've been up and down, down as low as a quarter of a mile in Lafayette, but now three quarters of a mile, half a mile in Patterson. These are current observations. Not too bad at Acadiana Regional, but Abbeville at a half a mile. Uh, so the thinking is right now, as long as the winds are light, fog will be an issue. So as we take a look at our future cast model, we'll look at the temperatures and dew points close together, and we'll watch these winds. And notice uh, the fog is thickest over toward Baton Rouge, the basin on eastward, and then we put the model in motion through earlier in the morning hours and notice the wind is kicking out of the northwest at seven. So that's going to help bring up the visibilities across the area. So I don't think fog will be a major issue at daybreak tomorrow. In fact, none of the observing sites we think uh, will have fog in the forecast, just low clouds, kind of a yucky day ahead. As we take a look at the uh, first off, we'll go with the predictive radar. This is the extended HRRRRRRRR model. It's got a lot of R's in it. Uh, but this is where we go at 7 o'clock in the morning. Mostly cloudy skies, scattered showers in uh, western portions of Louisiana. This is going to be mostly light to moderate stuff. No thunder expected in any of this. And then rain moving on through during the mid-morning hours, through the lunchtime hours, and then gradually departing as we go uh, deeper into the afternoon. But still the risk of some mist or drizzle as we head into the evening hours tomorrow night. And it shows up on the model as well. A few shots of green right there. Cloud Cloud cover stays with us through first thing Friday and then by Friday mid morning mid afternoon we'll have fully sunny skies. So temperatures tonight dropping down into the lower 50s. That's where they stay all day tomorrow. Tomorrow night that's when we clear out. And we'll see temperatures in the lower 40s. Wind chills in the mid 30s for Friday morning. Friday afternoon sunshine, but temperatures getting into the mid to upper 50s. OK, so first off, the other thing you'll notice tomorrow is the wind. It's going to be stiff out of the northwest, especially tomorrow afternoon. These are sustained winds, so gusts could go as high as 30 or 35. So keep that in mind. It's going to be a windy, blustery day. Looking at the European model and looking ahead to Friday, there's the sunshine going to Saturday after a chilly start in the 30s. We'll warm up quickly in the afternoon into the 60s, and then as we go into Sunday, a little bit more nebulous Sunday and beyond a little bit of a frontal boundary showing up, maybe a sprinkle, but mild weather gets locked in as we head into this is Christmas Eve. Here's the time Santa gets here. Temperatures in the 50s to lower 60s and then Christmas Day temperatures in the 70s and then it looks like relatively wet weather developing as we head into the mid and latter part of the week. Cold air lurking maybe 10 to 12 days away, but I do reflect some cooler air by the end of the 10 day forecast. So fog early, but it lifts by daybreak, lower 50s tonight, tomorrow up to 90% chance of rain. Doesn't mean it's going to rain all day long, but periods of rain, drizzle and mist 53 the high, but it's going to feel like the 40s with that wind chill. Sun's back for Friday, Saturday, a gorgeous day. Sunday, the clouds on the increase and temperatures through Christmas, upper 60s to lower 70s for much of next week with a good chance of rain after Christmas. All righty.